This is the last video for that series of videos I have been creating around big ideas for AI. Again, when you look at uh, the curriculum for kids around AI, these five concepts of five big ideas are important for them to understand. And this is the last one. So I have four other videos out there. I highly recommend you to watch them, especially if you are a teacher or if you're a parent or if you're a kid who's interested in AI. So what are the five things I need to get out of this program, right? These are five things. And I'll talk about the last and final one here, which is big idea number five. AI can be great. Let me use my pen here. Uh, okay, yeah, it can be great or can be not so good for us. When I say us, I'm referring to humans. Okay, so what do I mean by this? So when you have AI, you have something very, very powerful, which you can uh, use to solve a problem. <clears throat> and uh, artificial intelligence is, uh, is really, really good to solve repetitive problems and what we call low level skills. And uh, it's also used for high level skills, but uh, the idea uh, is that if you think about artificial intelligence and if there's a repetitive manual kind of work, um, that's a good candidate for replacement of, um, you know, uh, people uh, and that replacing people with machines might be actually, might, uh, might be actually safer for long term and might be actually productive. Now this human can actually be skilled or trained for a different job, but it is a big if. If he is he or she is ready to learn something new, good for them. Otherwise, we have a problem. So this is a the good piece and the uh, somewhat the not so good piece around AI, right? And ideally, you want them. When I said them, I'm talking about these intelligent agents to work alongside with humans to take on some uh, complex uh, tasks, uh, which they're really good at in terms of machine learning and AI. So that's the ideal place you wanna work alongside. But the, there's, a high, there's a high likelihood that uh, we don't know if they're going to work alongside because it might be more efficient for them to just get that, to get that work done. So looking forward, we really do not know what our job landscape is going to look like uh, in the next, uh, I would say, you know, 10 years or so. We don't know how that shift is going to happen. It's a big revolution. Now, there's another piece of the um, um, AI implementation or AI future is how do we know AI is actually fair, right? So there's data. If you remember, one of the models or one of the concepts we have is that uh, agents or AI agents uh, create models, right? And these models are created based on learning from real data. But if the real data is somewhat biased, and what do I mean by biased? If these, uh, if the data set you got is, you know, uh, a small sample and has, uh, it has uh, some bias towards some, you know, uh, properties or features, uh, there's a concentration of a data set um, then we might get different results, a biased result set. Uh, you might get very specific types of results. So uh, there's this concept of synthetic data. I'm not going to going into this yet, but there are uh, problems if you have, um, you know, biased data, biased algorithms, and this is a topic we will cover, but we should cover in the curriculum. And then there is this fact of if you use AI, let's say for medicine or surgery, there is, uh, and if that model was not perfect or if the AI uh, outcome was not uh, really good, then there is a thing called liability. What is liability? That let's assume that a surgery was done and something went wrong. Now, who is responsible for this? Uh, uh, so is that the, can you defer that responsibility to a machine? Can you respond? Is it the hospital? Is it the doctor? Is it the person who created the algorithm? A lot of things come up uh, from that aspect. So there's many other. There are many other topics we can talk about within the good uh, side and the not so good side of AI. But uh, let's go into the curriculum for just pointing out areas where we will elaborate on for each of these grades. So grade three to five.
we will think about critical uh, or talk about critical thinking around new AI applications. We will take examples like self-driving driving cars and see the pros and cons of it. We'll also ex uh, examine the what-if scenarios. This is pretty important around because when you are given that power, um, especially you know when uh, these kids come into power and they have to create um, you know AI agents and AI systems, they have to understand what the uh, pros and cons of creating those systems are. Then when you go to the sixth and eighth grade, again, we will uh, do a little bit of critical thinking, but mostly around drawing parallels, as in talking about the previous revolution, which is the industrial revolution, the tech revolution, and uh, within the tech revolution, uh, the latest wave is obviously the artificial intelligence um, wave, or the AI revolution. We'll talk about you know, uh, where these inventions were made, and then we talk about the AI revolution, but we also have to do a little bit of forecasting around where these will be, uh, you know, applied within our ecosystem, within how we work, within education maybe, <clears throat> and within the workplace, and then see what are the, what are the impact uh, uh, across and uh, make, some, make some assumptions, hypothesis, and figure things out. Okay, and 9 to 12, we will evaluate a little more deep dive on new AI technologies. So there'll be, um, uh, you know, uh, obviously sensor-based AI technologies and uh, other technologies which they will uh, try to understand, especially on the commercial side of things. And, uh, um, and we will look at the ethical impact of these technologies. Like I mentioned earlier, we'll have data bias and discuss ways to reduce them. And uh, we will look at, you know, maybe even visual bias, which is eventually translated into data bias. But this should summarize the uh, kind of topics, a kind of curriculum which will be created for idea number five, which is AI can be implemented in a good way. AI can also have side effects. And I'll wrap this up for now.